someone in the loop to supersize and grow our business. This is just a bracelet and it's a circle. So a circle is a loop. And we want to remember to keep certain people, certain entities involved and informed in communication that's important to them or information that they need to know or want to know or are interested in in order to supersize and grow our business. Well, how do we go about doing that? Where did the stadium come from and why do we care and how can we use it to grow and build and supersize our business? Well, it is a relatively new idiom. It's from the uh, early 20th century and it comes from the aviation industry where pilots would use this strategy mostly on radio communication to either communicate with the control tower or if they were flying in formation to communicate with the other pilots that they were flying in formation with in order to maintain safety and effectiveness and fly in the proper formation. So one of the pilots in the formation, usually the leader, right, would create an information loop and he would loop the information, the communication to all the different pilots in a circular manner so that everybody had all the information on a loop and would know what each other were doing at any given time. And that's where the name came from. And it came to mean that we want to involve, inform, and engage people, certain people, in information that that they ought to know, right? If you don't tell your team members what you expect and what they need to know to do their job, how effective are they gonna be? So who are some of the people that we need and want to keep in the loop? And it's gonna depend on your business who, and on you, who you want to be involved, who you want to maintain communication, information, and engagement with. But for a lot of us, it's we, we better let the people that we're serving, our customers, be in the loop and be informed about the products and services and the benefits to them that we're providing. We better let our team members, our business partners, the people that we affiliate with and uh, partner up with, to grow and build and supersize our business, what's going on for the projects and the, the subjects that are important to them. Uh, a lot of times we wanna let our coaches and consultants and mastermind team members, etc., be in the loop to certain information that we might not share with other people. We have our C-suite people that we communicate certain things with that maybe not everyone in the organization. But there's other things that everyone in the organization should be and needs to be and at least wants to be in the loop on. Uh, our community. Sometimes we need to uh, make sure that our community is in the loop with the things that we're doing. Uh, different regulatory agencies. If you live in the United States, we have lots of regulatory agencies that oversee our businesses depending on what type of business you're in, and we want to make sure that they're in the loop as well. One of the smartest things I learned early on was to make the USDA my friend in my food manufacturing business, and by making them a a valued team member and advisor to us, we had a great relationship with the USDA and with our business. It also helped us to get information early, to know what was coming down the pipe so we could always be prepared and ahead of the game. We weren't you know, a company that was running to, to catch up with rules and regulations. We were ahead of the a curve in a lot of instances because we did have a great working relationship with them because we use them as trusted advisors that could help us to make our business better. So who do you need to keep in the loop? Who do you want to keep in the loop? Do we keep our families in the loop to what's going on with us and our business? Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Some people do, some people don't. It depends on, on us for the most part. So I'd love to know your experience with this particular idiom. Do you believe that we should keep people in the loop? Have you used this idiom? I definitely have, probably hundreds of times. Because to me, it just means, hey, I want to keep you in the loop. I want to keep you involved and informed of this situation. And to kind of check with the person and make sure they're on board to be involved too. Because sometimes we want to keep people in the loop and they could care less. They don't want to be involved. They don't want the information. They got enough going on in their own lives that they don't need to worry about what's going on in our business and our lives. So that's our idiom for today. Any questions, ask. Otherwise, have an awesome day and a new week. And I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to grow and build and supersize your business? My purpose is to at least get you what it means and how you might use it in your business. All right. Have an awesome day. I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.